At this 300,000 square foot warehouse in Baldwinsville, New York, Anheuser-Busch is working 24-7 packaging 250 different products on pallets and loading 200 trailers a day. And while you'd think a warehouse facility like this would require dozens of employees, more than 90% of the heavy lifting and trailer loading is done by the Jervis B. Webb Company's smart loader system. We started working with Anheuser-Busch about four years ago. Anheuser-Busch uh, knew of our capabilities and asked if we could develop uh, a vehicle that would be an automatic warehousing vehicle. That means the vehicle could pick up uh, two pallets of beer from a palletizer line, place it into storage, stack two more pallets on top and deep lane store beer like that, and then be able to go back and pull that beer out of storage and put it in a staging bay for a fork truck operator to, um, to load into the trailer. But as development got underway and the company's needs came into focus, web engineers discovered a way that they could automate the warehouse even further. As we were developing that technology, we uh, thought we could also successfully go in and out of trailers with vehicles. Uh, so they asked us if we would build a vehicle like that also. So we built a pilot vehicle for loading trailers, uh, and that vehicle does the functions of the automatic warehousing vehicle as well as actually traveling in the back of an over-the-road trailer and placing the beer in there. It wasn't long before a smart warehouse system was installed. 36 battery-powered unmanned smart loaders travel the floor, taking direction from a computerized vehicle management system that tells them what product to pick up, whether it goes to storage or shipping, and exactly how to load each truck. Automating the warehouse is something that's never really been done before with automatic guided vehicles. Uh, it's kind of the new frontier for material handling. And the, the difference is that we're automating an existing warehouse here. A lot of companies have automated their warehouses before by putting in huge uh, automatic storage and retrieval systems, but that requires the capital investment for a new facility. In this particular case, we've installed this system in the existing facility and automated it completely. The smart warehouse system is designed to reduce labor and production costs, as well as minimize damaged inventory and equipment. Web engineers adapt our smart technology to a company's specific needs customizing a vehicle management system that will integrate with any existing warehouse management system. It's a truck loading vehicle, it's a warehousing vehicle, it's a transport vehicle. Well, smart loader is super flexible. The size of the system depends on the customer and the product that they're producing. Obviously if it's a beverage company they're producing 24-7. They need something that's there day in and day out even on Christmas Day. Uh, they need something that's reliable, that's safe, uh, that is very consistent with their product. And for Anheuser-Busch, safety and consistency is essential. Employees have a tendency to be focusing on things other than safety and moving while they're trying to do something else at the same time. So they're not always looking for the pedestrian. And the vehicles have a path that they travel along. Everybody recognizes what those paths are and they have enough safety features built into them that the employees should be safe out in the warehouse. That path is controlled by a vehicle management system that can be monitored by warehouse supervisors. One quick glance reveals where each smart loader is at any given time. In the vehicle computer, there's a virtual map of where it needs to travel. And uh, the vehicle system manager, a computer that controls the entire system, directs the vehicle from one point to another, and in intersections controls which vehicle has right away in that intersection. A web smart loader system can be designed to work with either laser or inertial guidance. Here at Anheuser-Busch, inertial guidance is used to navigate the vehicles and smart marks, transponders that are embedded in the floor, make sure the smart loaders stay on track. Inertial guidance, similar to way, the way GPS works today, is really using a gyro within the vehicle that is noticing any changes in, in going right, going left, going up, going down, and it is adjusting the travel path of the vehicle as it moves forward. And um, what we do just to, as a verification is we will put a plug in the floor that is an RF tag that is no bigger than your thumb, that is just drilled in the concrete about every 50 to 100 feet. And then what the vehicle does is once it hits a tag, it just kind of readjusts itself. If it's an eighth of an inch off to the right, it'll make sure it compensates itself back to an eighth of an inch back. Today alone, 5,000 pallets of the products Anheuser-Busch produces will make their way from this facility in Baldwinsville, New York, to stores around the country. Pallets are also being stored for delivery later in the week. An automated storage and retrieval system, also by Webb, works hand-in-hand -hand with the smart loaders, storing single or double pallets in a vertical system designed to preserve precious warehouse space. 
uh, these vehicles that are coming past me are doing one of two things. They're either headed into a storage uh, bay to place beer for storage, or they're going around the end of the system here to get to the dock doors to load beer and trailers. The warehouse management system tells Webb's vehicle management system what kind of beer to move, what storage bay to retrieve it from, and the trailer that it should load. But there's a sequence with that beer. Uh, so if you're putting one type of beer in, you need to finish all of that beer before you can put the next in. And uh, because you've got 36 vehicles uh, that travel different paths to get to the same trailer, uh, those vehicles can get there in different sequences. Uh, if somebody stands in front of one for a while, it may be held up and in the wrong vehicle may get to the trailer first. Uh, the software here is smart enough to take care of that. There are gatekeepers through the system, and a vehicle will actually be rerouted if it has the wrong beer, but the software is also smart enough to say, okay, you're the wrong vehicle, but you've got the right beer. Go ahead and put it in the trailer, but put it farther in there than I originally told you to, and then it reassigns the next vehicle to do the same thing. The smart loader can fill any trailer with no need for costly modifications, and Webb's engineers have spent years refining its loading system to be sure every truck is safe out on the road. Placing it in there is very important, and a lot of the development that was done in the last three or four years is all about how well we handle the load, sensing that the load is actually touching the walls of the trailer, uh, pushing the loads into the trailer so that we know uh, the, first, the second beer in is actually touching the first beer in, uh, developing load patterns where the beer is interlocked in the trailer so that uh, those kinds of things can't happen. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Webb's smart loaders keep Anheuser-Busch moving safely and cost-effectively without so much as a coffee break. Although from time to time they may let the system know it's time for a battery change. It's the wave of all industry. Uh, if you're not willing to change and keep up with the competition and do innovative things, you're going to fall behind. And if you fall behind, you're soon going to be out of business. It's the technology of tomorrow available today.